a very short tutorial whereby we flip an image right and that will actually translate into um flipping of your credit card so over here i i have my ui already designed right so i have my image and three text input edit text right from material.io which is um the card the card input number right and then the expiring date and then your cvv so um since we've been going into motion layouts what we want to do is at the start of um the transition right we want this to show the credit card number and then the expiring date and then the year so we set all to we set the alpha right to be one so the image to should show the credit card number alpha to one if we set it in zero right the number would disappear and when we set it to one or let me say it to be invincible when even we set it to one it becomes visible right so at the start of the animation we want that to be visible so we apply the same thing to the expiring dates the month and then the year and then um, at the end of the animation right that that's where we want to display the cvv that is when you flip um the card you want the cvv to show at the back so we set that alpha at the start to zero right and upon the end of the animation we set it to one so that's that's that will be the trick for um this animation so first of all we convert um this layout into motion layout so right click and convert to motion layout then hit convert the first thing we want to focus here is um at the end of the animation right we want to make sure um the card number inputs that's the card number right the alpha should be set to zero the expiry date should be set to zero the month and then a year because we only want to display the cvv at the end of the animation so we click this end right specifying the end of the animation and then we click on the card number um expand the attribute tab and at the end we set the alpha to zero click enter um to verify that move to the layout descriptor click on it you realize at the end of the animation right the card number is set to zero so we do the same thing for um the expiring dates right so at the expiring date at the end of the animation which is highlighted we set the alpha to zero right and realize it's gone over here we do the same thing for the month same thing for the year and then we do the same thing for the slash too as well right and at the end this time we want to display the cvv right the alpha to be one so it's so the cvv will be displayed at the end of the animation and over here now we, we we will set a keyframe right which which will apply it to the image right so keyframe click on um create keyframe go to key attributes and specify the image right so over here we want to do the rotation right a full rotation so we do it specify the image the attributes to be rotation y right and at the end of the animation click on and add right so you realize a rotation, a rotation y will be added so you can head to um the layout file that was generated for you for the motion for the motion layout right so head to the key 
frame set then you realize what we added has been added over here but then we want to set we want to do a rotation so we want the rotation y to be 180 so that if when if I remove this line you realize the um the card number inputs the expiring date the month the year and the slash or vanishes and the cvv displays right and then the third thing we need to do is set um a click or a swipe handler but over here we'll be doing a click right so we set the click handler from start to animation then the view to click you have to um specify your cvv input and then you add it the cvv input is um the edit text for your cvv so the place you're going punching your cvv this this part right so once you click on it and then you want your rotation or the flipping of the card to actually work right okay so let's let's run the application and let's see how it is after we are done running the application we set the click handler to be on the cvv right but then we are expecting when you click once when it's focused that's where we want the animation to start but here lies the case we we are supposed to click again on the edit text when it has been focused so when we click on it again then we realize the animation is being placed and click on it again then it moves away so when you come back to maybe the card number and then you focus on it once it won't run at that same point because you haven't clicked on it again so you need to click on it again for the animation to actually work and that's that's actually a setback so let's try and um right codes for that to work as we click on the edit text to focus and then the animation will actually start so the layout for the clicking for the animation to start is on cvv inputs then we say dot on focus change handler equal to view dot on focus change handler actually we want this order and then we do underscore of type view we won't really be using it but we have to pass it in so we just do it underscore underscore of boolean right and then we do a lambda function so over here to solve the issue when we focus on the cvv input that is clicking on it the first time we want to perform the click so that the animation would actually start right so we do cvv again input dot perform click for us so once we click on the edit text right we, we this this code would actually work because um it's being focused and it will click again for us to start the animation so let's actually run it and see the difference so it's done running so now watch carefully when we click to focus we perform a click again then the animation is is, is being played and this time when we click um the card number or the expiry date the animation will be played again then it brings you back right so you can add your card number your expiry date once you focus to click then the animation is being start the animation will actually start and when you click back it moves or plays back the animation again so when you click once at this time the animation is started and when you go back when you're done with your cvv you can click back 
um, your card number then the animation goes back so at this point you can actually add um, um, your card number input you can add a text change handler to it so let's just do one for the card number so we do card number input dot add text change handler object of type text watcher text sorry text watcher right then we override the methods actually we need to override all so we need to delete the to do in each of them then on text changed right we see the card number right dot text should be equal to the characters which are being passed the card number is actually this there's the card number and there's the card number input right so when you're inputting your card number this text should actually change so let's run the application and see how it goes so we punch in the number so four one then it's changing to as well right so you can do the same thing for the expiry date so when you click on the cvv then it moves so you need to also add um the same codes for the cvv so that when you punch in your number the cvv text will be updated so 